Right. So we have the development server running and here is the create react app and first of all we will be removing everything from here all we need is just the app so let's see what we have in the or we will just keep the index else we'll delete everything is going to throw errors that we don't have this we don't have that but that's fine for now because we are going to add it so we I will even remove this I'll create another folder called components components and let's just pass in FJS. In this folder, we will be having a bunch of different stuff, but at this moment, import React from React const default. Oh no, no, export default. Turn. Right, and this one we will be doing from components app, and let's see what do we get. All right, so test here, perfect. So the hooks are working fine, like not the hooks, but this is working fine. And let's create something like this. So we have I already created this application before and based on that we are doing it. So we will be having a different folder for the search and a different folder for result. And this is the app as we saw before. And what do we have is we will just have the search component in it. So let's add the search component in this application, in this folder search and we don't have it yet so we'll have to create it search page slash index.js all right this index we will be we'll have to import react from react export default you can use like inbuilt uh, way of doing it like create functional component yeah yes six yeah so it does it for you you can do it whichever way you like but yeah so let's do this instead of naming it I'll just use the same one like I did before and this will have a bunch of UI stuff so let me just copy and paste the UI all I need is just the HTML and styles. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it would be better to just write for now. But yeah, let me grab the style from here. <coughs> okay, so I have the style and where is the outer box? So class style box. Okay. Carrier. This is just like kind of a placeholder for now. Right number. <coughs> And then what is the other thing? Yeah, departure. Okay. So 
so you might see something search it won't auto populate it but yeah we, we can do something like this okay you can write whatever you want here but it should pretty much match it, it should match like whatever you write so if you go see we have this it even imported the style and I had the style of color in the index CSS so maybe I can just use that background so you might see something like the one what I have before I'll remove everything and just save it so let's see what do we have perfect so this looks okay so one interesting thing which I had I wanted to try before and I did in this project was using the end uh, library it is really good I like it the end design and you can install it using the guideline they have it here and it's it is pretty good I personally preferred material UI till now and even still I do it but and was something I wanted to give it a try and it is really good so you should definitely give it a try and yeah so I used input uh, before that let's see how to install it you you'll just need to npm install or yarn add end and then you can directly use it by importing it in this way so let's see the components what we want so we will be using the button component we will also be using auto complete like the picking one select sorry not auto complete we will be using select that if I I cannot write here but there is one uh, option in which I can even write this is not where I can write but yeah there is one option yeah perfect this is the one I can write Emirates and I can get the data so something like this so I will use this component and yeah I think that's it and hmm. yeah so that's it so I won't be showing you the installation it would be a uh, time consuming but yeah so see you in the next video after that in which I'll already be installing ant and it would look something different in the next video so see you in the next video